How's it going guys? Welcome back to AU Cannoning. Um, it's been a while since I last uploaded, I know. I've been pretty busy just working and, uh, and school as well. Um, so today I've just got this hunk which really doesn't do much at all. Uh, you'll soon see what it does. Um, and I was, I was just going to show you a concept that I've been thinking about for maybe... Oh, quite a while now, maybe almost a year for when you're raiding on, on factions. Um, obviously two guiders is really not what you want, like this is <laughs> some old shit. Um, anyways, I'll show you what it does. Um, so basically, you'll soon see, um, I'm going to check something, I don't remember, yeah, okay. So, we're going to activate our one rev, which is on the same timing as the normal hammer, so three ticks after the power, and then we're also going to uh, change our hammer ticks to uh, six. So it'll be power, three ticks later, one rev, and then three ticks after that, hammer. And what this is going to do is it's going to send in your, or my shot. So my shot's going to come in here, Then what's going to happen is the one rev is sitting inside the sand and so if the TNT is above the sand then the TNT is going to get shot up and also there is um, a thing with one revs called just uh, it's kind of hard to explain it's almost like stop a TNT if you know what that is uh, it's actually going to boost up our sand as well and so you'll see in just a moment uh, what's going to happen So my computer is pretty garbage, but you kind of saw what was going on there. The um, the sand shoots up. Uh, it's actually it's my ping. <laughs> the sand shoots up, stacks. Something else happens, which I'll show you in a sec, and then it nukes. Now, obviously the nukes fucking uh, terrific at the moment. Uh, it's because this is just like a prototype. I'm I'm still working out the timings for this sort of thing. But essentially, what this cannon is doing is it's stacking sand and then reverse nuking the previous wall. So I don't know if you've seen maybe a Y1 rev nuke where you just you're going from the bottom and you're just trolling people's bases going along. But this is different. This is a 255 with a rev uh, with a rev nuke that is um, going on the previous wall. And you're probably like, well, if you're getting it to nuke, then why the hell why the hell are you like re nuking the wall before? And uh, it's actually, uh, it's actually got a big practical use where if you're in a raid, you're shooting, you're shooting, you're shooting, but then they start patching. You're probably not going to go up because you're going to start clipping on walls that you've already gone past. So you're going to go down. Then as the raid progresses, like you're looking at adjusting much, much lower. And so what this does is by rev nuking previous walls you can adjust between like Y240 around like here and like Y120 because it's it's just still nuking the whole wall essentially so you are only really shooting through an extra one wall when you adjust back up as opposed to like a full buffer uh, so obviously that's that's quite useful um, and I'm gonna try and uh, show you what exactly is happening to the wall uh, just from just like this so we got our walls just like so what's happening is the sands coming in falling a block TNT is coming in uh, and this is the first shot and this isn't being one revved at all this is just nuking like this I'm gonna increase the height of this a bit now the next shot um, comes in once again stacks and this is what it looks like uh, red sandstone okay this is what it looks like the TNT is inside the red sand now in order to rev nuke you need a pocket of air under the wall however if we uh, look here on oh, no. uh oh okay good 
Right. If we look here, um, if we stack our sand, what happens is it pushes, the water kind of like lands on here and then pushes out on all sides. So then if we stack this right up to here, our water's just blocked this little air pocket which we need to rev off. So that's where the run, uh, sorry, the one rev kind of kicks in. What happens is, and this took me quite a while to be able to do, fuck's sake, here we go, is the shot comes in, um, I'm just gonna, just comes in here, and then revs up, and then we've got our sand stack just like this. So then we've still got our air pocket here, and now the second guider, you're probably like, where's this coming into it, um, is a bit lower down, and the reason for that is because if we have it up the top here, like on the same line, this the the rev will blow up this sand and also this wall, stopping it from nuking, and then also on the next shot, um, it, it's it's just not going to nuke, uh, it's just not going to be able to rev nuke. Sorry, because you've still got that water issue. I'll show you what I mean. And essentially, you're not doing yourself any favors because you can't. It just stops you from just nuking the wall. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Um, uh, hang on, there we go. Right. Um, I haven't actually seen this concept. I, I've I've seen like a 15 stacker that was doing this, but that's a little bit different. Um, I haven't seen this concept of someone trying, it's almost like a one-shot regen bus, just without the rev nuke. Oh, no, not really, actually, but, yeah, um, I'll, I'll show you what happens when, when, uh, yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you what happens, the problem with it. So if I turn off the one rev, ah, uh, no, sorry, the guider, that's what it was. Uh, let's just move this, uh, I think it was 16 memory yeah okay so fire the first shot oh this won't hmm, actually obviously that's it's not ideal but uh yeah so uh the rev nuke and the nuke are ticking off at the same tick like the new camera, sorry, not all of the nuke, just the new camera. So, um, and it's got to do with tunneling ticks. So there are more repeaters going into uh, the rev than there is going into uh, the nuke, uh, hammer and nuke. And what that means is the nuke's technically being rendered in before the rev. So in that case, the nuke shoots and uh, almost tunnels our rev outwards. So we have to get the rev away from that nuke by bringing it down here. I tried fiddling around with the timings, getting it going before and stuff. If the rev goes off before, the stack breaks and then the nuke doesn't work. And then, But the wall hybrids, I guess. So, I mean, you can stack hybrid and rev if you want, but I want to nuke. Otherwise, it kind of defeats the purpose of it. Um, so then I tried moving it down. And I did get a nuke. I did get a nuke, pardon me. Um, and it's it's just not that big, I guess. Um, and the only way you could really get around this sort of thing is if you is if you are uh, disabled disabled the rev. Let's say. Oh, actually, no. Hang on. Uh, if I disable the one rev TNT to boost it up, put this back on its regular timing, you'll see. I don't know where the rev nuke went, okay, that's nice. Or did I disable it? No.
obviously this wiring is disgusting. I've had a few comments saying how shit it is. But uh, this is just a prototype. Really. What's going on there? Uh, I think there's some server lag at the moment. It would appear... No, sorry, ignore me. What's happened to my... I'm not entirely sure what's going on, why that that's doing it. Uh, hang on, let me just you go get a fresh wall. Oh, right. No, sorry. So the reason it wasn't revving was because I put the guider back up here. So the problem with the, uh, the with the rev being in line with the new camera is that it breaks the sand so it can't nuke and then the rev also doesn't work as well because it gets tunneled out. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty stupid or kind of hard to explain properly. So anyway, there are obviously some problems with if I move this down, let's say 8 down. Um, 8 is like TNT range, whatever. Um, so... I'll go 8 to be safe. Turn this on. Uh, currently, I tried fiddling around with the nuke things. There's normally repeaters here, but I've just got a 2 game tick nuke with a fuck ton of nuke hammer. Did I turn that on? Oh no. Yes, that's clutch. Okay, hang on. Um, where was I? So 8 doesn't work. So this is one of the problems with it. I've just been stuffing around with it. I was just uh, making this video to show you the concept and uh, maybe you're better than me and you can get it going quicker than me. Which no doubt you guys probably are. Because I am semi-retired. Try 8. So I mean it rev nuked and it nuked like 10 blocks, it's just because of this shit, it's absolute garbage um, nuke that I've got going at the moment. Oh, um, maybe is it the nuke hammer? That's fine, that's fine. Uh, maybe if I try adding more, but yeah, where was I, the concept, so after... After um, the sand one revs up, stacks, the nuke comes, rev nuke comes in down lower, rev nukes this, and then at the same time this nukes down. Uh, and then um, that nukes down, breaks the next wall, um, let's say at this height. And then this is where the cannons kind of just, I was trying to get the concept down before I made it proper. And what's going to happen is it's going to alternate between the 1rev 6 tick hammer and just the regular 3 tick hammer so then when the next shot comes in I've just got the usual stack um, and then because this is not being 1 revved up now I've still got that air pocket here which allows me to rev nuke off um, so an example of this here is this, this is the one rev one, so I'm going to turn off the one rev, put it back on its regular timing, and you'll see what happens. So you see how it's stacked lower, the air pocket's still there, and it was able to rev nuke, and then 
in you quite a decent way. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? I'm just going to go all out with this. Could make it longer, I guess. Um, three, four, uh, seven, eleven. Go fifteen, shall I? I'll stuff. I'll stuff around with this later. But I'll add more nuke in, and then get back to you. But yeah, it's a it's an awesome concept. Once I get it fully nuking, um, I'll remake the whole cannon. Uh, get it alternating so it'll. And this is. Oh, it's actually worth noting that some servers won't allow you to automatically adjust uh, the the level that you're shooting at. So if I wanted to make this like another way, I might shoot at one height first, then adjust it automatically. So then, and then like shoot again. So I'm like alternating between here and then here. And then back up to here, just with the guiders, and then just chucking the rev nuke down low. But most servers don't allow that uh, that kind of auto adjust, so that's why you, that's why playing around with the one, one rev, um, you have yeah playing around with the one rev, you have to you have to be able to automatically adjust it with uh, TNT at the at the wall, not from your cannon box. Um, and if you are going to attempt making something like this, this took me maybe like uh, three hours, it's not too hard. Um, you want to make sure that your one rev is boosting the stack up three blocks. It has to be three blocks or more. Uh, when I first tried, I couldn't get the one rev uh, on the same guider as the sand. Oh, same Y level as the sand. I couldn't get that revving it up three blocks. So I tried putting it in with the rev over here. But that doesn't work. What happens is, with one TNT, the exposure is like one one block between the rev and the no, sorry, two between the rev and the hammer, and it boosts it up so small. And uh, if you add more TNT, it just like shoots it up, and then your ratio with your hammer and sands fucked up. You need to work out something else. So it just doesn't work. Uh, you have to put it in with your nuke, the one rev. Um, and uh, otherwise, I think that's mostly covered. Um, yeah, it's an awesome concept. I haven't, I'm not saying that I came up with it or anything, but I haven't actually seen it yet. Maybe it's because I haven't been on in a while. Um, yeah, very cool. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, let me know if you want me to release this when I obviously clean it up a bit and um, like make it fully automatic.